Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to calculate an area, length and other geometry properties in our map. Now as you can see that I have already loaded the shape files and first of all I am going to check the existing projection of this shape file because you can only calculate the area, length or perimeter of features if the coordinate systems being used is projected. So to do that you can simply right click on this go to properties click on sources and you can see that it's already defined into GCS WGS 1984 which is under the geography coordinate systems by this coordinate systems you cannot calculate the area length or perimeter of features so for this tutorial i am going to change the position from a geographic coordinate systems into your positive coordinate systems now the tool that we can use is found in your toolbox under the data management tools for changing the positions so go to your catalog menu click on system toolboxes click on data management tools then click on positions and transformations here you can see that this one is an option called project so you can simply double click on that as your input shift file you can use your current shift file when you drag it and drop it over here you will be able to see your current existing current systems now over here you have the option to define the output coordinate systems so in this case i am going to positive coordinate systems click here then click on positive coordinate systems under UTM click on UTM click on WGS 1984 then click on northern hemisphere then I am selecting WGS 1984 UTM 46 north because this shepherd is corresponding to a part of Asia and over here you can define your path to set the new projected shift file click on here go to your desired folder where you want to save your output grid system i am giving a name over here as a bgd projected then save and click ok now you can see that we already have the positive shape file so just to be sure i am going to the catalog menu then click on my folder then drag in and drop it over here right click on this click on properties go to sources file and now you can see that this is WGS 1984-46 which has been converted from WGS 1984-4 geographic coordinate system ok let's go over then then right click on go to open a table table click on here create a new field and give a name of the field is area now go to this field right click the field heading for which you want to make a calculation and click on calculate geometry then click on yes or 
optionally you can press ctrl shift g to open the calculator dialog box to avoid seeing a warning message when you attempt to calculate values are set and irrigation you can check the don't want me again box on this message you can turn on this message again from the table tab on the rmap option dialog box so i'll check this one and yes now click the geometry property you want to calculate um select area then click to use either use query systems of the data source or use query systems of the data frame then click the units of the calculations i am selecting over here square kilometers then click on ok click on yes you can see that the area has been calculated over there now i want to calculate the perimeter of the shape file so click on here go to add field give a name perimeter then double click on ok go to the heading of perimeter right click on there click on calculate geometry yes click on property and select perimeter go to units you can select centimeters feet inch kilometers so i am selecting over here as a kilometer then click on ok click on yes now you can see that the perimeter has been calculated over here now i want to calculate the length of the road so for this go to here right click on over there click on op open a table table then add field give a name length okay right click on over here click on calculate geometry then yes now you can see that the length has disable over there because this is not a projected file so for this i am going to properties click on sources and here you can see that this is gcs double zero nineteen eighty four which has under geographical system so if you want to calculate the length of the shape file you have to change the position query systems from geographical system to any other positive query system so for this now i am to change the position click on catalog go to again project input data set or feature class as a this one bg roads you can see that uh, the input code systems is this is wgs1984 so in output code system click here positive code systems now click on utm go to wgs1984 then click on northern hemisphere now i am selecting wgs1984 atm zone 46 because this is the part of asia so click on ok output data set or feature class save this file on your desired folder i am giving a name btd roads underscore projected then say you can ok ok the position has been completed over here 
go to catalog menu then drag it and drop it over here go to open activity table click on here right click on over there and click calculate geometry click on yes now you can see that the name is enable so you can calculate either use coordinate systems of the data source or use coordinate systems of the data from now i am changing the unit of the geometry so i am selecting here as kilometer then click on ok click on yes now you can see that all data has been calculated over here you can also check the summary of total length for this click on this field right click on click on statistics and you can see that the summary of the total length okay friends that's about it in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you would like to see more interesting rjs tutorials i recommend you to subscribe to my channel thank you and have a good day